Your legacy is kind of like everything you've done throughout your life, you know, the process of being part of it, you know. That's one thing about the journey. If you're in coaching, the journey is never easy, but you got to fight through it. You're going to have the you know, highest highs and the lowest lows and tough times don't last, tough people do. If you've got that type of mindset, then good things will happen to you. I was very young. When I came into Denver, I was, you know, 31 years old and coming with some responsibility at a young age. And a lot of these guys are 23, 24, as old as you. So I had a chance to get to know them and spend a lot of time with them. And uh, when you get to know people on that personal level, it's a lot of fun because you want to, you know, go the extra mile for them. And when you have that type of relationship where they trust you, they uh, believe in you, and you believe in them as well, and you want the best thing for them, just like they want the best thing for you. Then you got a chance to do something good as a team. Hey, John, I know Brian got beat right away in the hang, but it should be good because those linebackers are going straight back. I'm just trying to figure out which way they're rolling so I go away from it. You know what I mean when I'm getting out of there? Well, we're best friends. There's no question about it. You know, I came in, I think he was seven years older than he was, and so we're very close in age as, as well. And, you know, his goal is win a Super Bowl as well as mine and do the little things the right way and coming back and uh, for four years as a head coach and finally getting a chance to win it the last two years was just, you know, everything that we worked for. Part of the process is going through those pains and uh, agony and doing the little, little things the right way. But there's nothing better than finally winning it, especially if you've gone through a uh, little adversity along the way. And a Bronco team that for the most part of the year, led the NFL in record, will come to a close here on this divisional playoff game. This one is history. Well, number one, I was I was very upset with myself because I didn't think I did a great job in preparation uh, for the game. Uh, we were a very physical team, and that game, I think they had 450 yards, we had like 350. Uh, they kind of dominated the game physically, and that was not like our football team. And, and then the next year we play them, and we're going to be a lot more physical. And we ran the ball 49 times for over 300 yards. So, you know, big difference. And it was kind of like the mindset uh, losing one year, and you kind of knew why, and our team re really responded in the right way. Inside the 10, 5, touchdown! Oh. I love this, baby. I love this. Revenge is so sweet. Well, he said along, we didn't come here to win one playoff game. This, this is a first step. I want you to, guys to enjoy your win, relax, but we're coming back, and we got one mission. And they are stunned here at Arrowhead Stadium. All right, baby. Let's go, uh, let's go sprint right up. Touchdown, Denver. Great job, John. Blitz is on. Farm, hit as he throws. Pass is going to be incomplete. Denver wins. Denver's going to win. Once we start at playoffs, we said, hey, don't matter how we get there, we got a job to do. You guys say focus. You took it day by day, just like this week. No talking. Let your actions on the field do the talking. Never been more proud of a group of guys, and you got something that no one will ever be able to take away from you, and that's that ring world champs. Congratulations. It was something that when you first get into coaching, you know, you find out you got to be yourself. You know, I'm serious by nature anyhow, so especially when you're dealing with detail and trying to do the little things the right way, you know, you try to, you know, practice at a certain standard or work at a certain standard. So you always know, expect a lot of yourself and a lot of the people that work for you. Man, one thing we're gonna have to do as a team is learn how to finish plays. But doing what we did today, man, was a farce. That's not the way we operate around here. You know, one thing that we've always had in Denver is that you take a look at eight Super Bowl appearances, you're talking about an organization that has done a lot of right things and. A lot of people go in the right direction. Felt good to win that AFC, but what we talked about before, there's one goal we've had from day one, and that's that Super Bowl. Enjoy the win, but we're coming back with one thing in mind, and that's that second ring. Oh! Had the best coach in the NFL, period. Yeah, period. Hey, you sure you're going to remember this tomorrow? I'm going to remember this. Hey, all week we ate crow to Jeff. They're great. They're awesome. What about the Broncos? Yeah, there's a lot of Pro Bowl players, a lot of starters that, you know, doing the little things the right way that gave this organization to be where it is today. You know, to experience, you know, some of the things that have, have, has been done here, you always feel part of the process, even though you're not here. I mean, I wasn't here with Peyton Manning and the job they did, but uh, you still feel part of the 
the success of the organization when you do win. Thank you.